Hi, my name is Laura Nolan. Welcome to this video demonstration. I'll be showing you how to use CDA's pre-capraniculus flower kit in order to make edible wafer flowers. The CDA kit comes in six lovely colours. Each kit contains enough pre-cut petals in order to make three beautiful ranunculus flowers, along with a set of instructions. In preparation of making my flower, I push out all the pre-cut discs into the relevant size piles. In order to make my ranunculus, I have made sure I've got the corresponding number of petals. Nine large, seven medium, three small, and one disc in order to place my petals onto. I've also got a small paintbrush that I'm going to use for water, and a water pot that's ready. In order to create our petals, we need to ensure that the wafer paper is facing shiny side up. If you notice, each petal has a small slit in it and this is what allows us to give our petal shape. Now depending on how far I cross it over I will get a tighter petal or a looser petal. So if I only overlap it a tiny bit I will get a very loose petal and should I overlap it quite a bit I get a tight petal. In order to make my ranunculus I've pre-made all my petals and I have them ready. I've got my disc in front of me that I'm going to put, place my petals onto and what I do is I take a tiny bit of water onto the back of each disc where I folded it over and I'm going to place that onto my backing disc and as you can see the water holds that petal in place. Now I'm simply going to continue to make our flower. I just make more of the petals than I showed you previously and continue to work around the base disc adding more and more petals in turn to create the complete flower. These need to be added in number order as stated in the instructions that are provided with the kit. As you've seen, wafer flowers are very versatile and simple to master. There are many techniques you can use to further enhance a flower once you've made it. You can enhance the decorative effect by brushing a dusting powder or an edible glitter on the edge of the petals. To add colour, you can use various dusting colours or lustre sprays. Using a water mist spray bottle to gently spray over the flower, this will cause the petals to curl for a more realistic look. We hope you enjoyed using the CDA kit to make your own flowers. For those of you looking for some hands-on instruction, I use the CDA products in a number of the classes that I teach here at the Nuthouse Bakery.